What will happen in 2029 when the dreaded asteroid Apophis returns to Earth? NASA has confirmed its plan. We need to be prepared because someday the asteroid will dangerously approach Earth. If an asteroid of this size were to strike the Earth's surface, it could cause global catastrophes such as massive tsunamis, wildfires, and earthquakes. But how can one defend against a piece of this size, and what exactly are NASA's plans for Apophis? The asteroid Apophis doesn't have just any name. This asteroid monster was named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and destruction. In 2004, this piece of space grabbed attention when it briefly triggered an asteroid alarm, meaning Apophis was on a direct path toward Earth. You can imagine the horror of astronomers when they first saw this 340 meter wide chunk. Initial trajectory calculations confirmed exactly what no one wanted. It was on a collision course with Earth. 340 meters are enough to reduce a city of millions to rubble, completely incinerate an area of the Earth, and trigger a 100 meter high tsunami. This could result in global catastrophes, regional crop failures, or a chain of geological events like sudden volcanic eruptions. In 2029, Apophis will come closer to Earth than all geostationary satellites. This means that this asteroid will fly below the satellites and pass us by. But Apophis will return. It's a near-Earth asteroid that repeatedly crosses our orbit. Experts suspect that the impact is only a matter of time. For scientists, 2029 will be the year that offers a unique opportunity to collect valuable scientific data and expand our knowledge about asteroids. But that won't be enough to save us. OSIRIS-REx is on its way to Apophis. OSIRIS is a first-class probe that, after an extremely successful flight to the equally dangerous asteroid Bennu, is now on its way to Apophis. In 2020, the OSIRIS-REx mission successfully collected samples from Bennu, which arrived in the United States in 2023. The reusable probe then became the OSIRIS Apex mission for Asteroid Exploration Expedition. Since its refurbishment, OSIRIS Apex has used the proven technology and expertise from its previous mission to gain a deeper understanding of the nature and orbit of Apophis. These asteroid samples will help us understand their composition. If we want to defend against asteroids, we need to know exactly what they're made of, how dense they are, how much they weigh, and much more. Right now we only have one defense plan. Asteroids must be diverted from their orbit. NASA's DART mission demonstrated that this is possible by successfully moving the small asteroid Dimorphos from its old orbit around the larger asteroid. What do we know about Apophis? It's a relief that we don't have to wait until 2026 to learn more about Apophis because we have very attentive scientists who have already learned a lot about this potentially dangerous asteroid. Let's take a look at the physical properties of Apophis. New observations have shown that Apophis has a much more complex structure than previously thought. High-resolution telescopic images and spectroscopic analysis have revealed variations in its surface composition that are revealing and raise more questions. These variations could indicate geological processes. But what processes occur on an asteroid? These mysterious chunks, most likely dating back to the early days of the solar system, are truly enigmatic objects and not just exciting subjects for scientific inquiry because we might have to defend ourselves from them. Asteroids are genuine flying treasures for astronomers, and we simply need to know more about them to better understand the evolution of our system. Combining radar observations and optical astronomy, researchers have already determined Apophis's orbit quite precisely. These new data have helped determine the asteroid's orbit more accurately and better estimate the likelihood of a future impact on Earth. Interestingly, these studies have also shown that Apophis's orbit is influenced by the Yarkovsky effect, a force caused by the uneven heating and cooling of the asteroid. Although the probability of Apophis impacting Earth in the next 100 years is considered low, the long-term risk still exists. Future generations will benefit from our research, and it is likely that the Global Asteroid Defense Plan will someday result in humanity being well prepared in case of an impact risk. Better probes and our knowledge of asteroids could make a successful defense in 50 or 100 years a piece of cake. We also need to know more about gravitational interactions and the aforementioned Yarkovsky effect. Both can unexpectedly change an asteroid's orbit, and then, of course, we would have to correct our predictions about the likelihood of impact from Venus and Apophis. The latest technologies in asteroid research, who would have thought that asteroids of all things would lead to a technological boost on Earth? 
the need to study Apophis and other asteroids has not only led to the development of the OSIRIS probe, but also to advanced telescopes, special instruments for asteroid analysis, and entirely new models of computer-assisted asteroid orbit simulation. Observing asteroids is not so easy. Even the best telescopes can reach their limits here because these chunks are dark and small. Most telescopes are designed to observe large and luminous objects like stars or cosmic nebulae. They collect traces of light and assemble them into images. But how do you observe objects that don't emit light themselves and barely scatter sunlight? Some asteroids are almost completely black, absorbing all sunlight and appearing almost ghostly in the universe. The need to be able to observe small, dark objects was also taken into account in the new James Webb Space Telescope. For example, it is expected to be able to detect and track asteroids near Earth. NASA's plans are already set and ready after the OSIRIS-REx mission. There will be more missions to study Apophis even more closely. These new missions will include advanced landers or orbital probes that will position themselves on and near the asteroid. Thanks to these probes, we will know every step of the asteroid, and in case of a collision risk, we would already have important probes in place. For purely scientific purposes, the landers in particular will collect detailed data on the surface, composition, and internal structure of Apophis. Some of these missions could also aim to bring back more samples of Apophis to Earth. Imagine how exciting it would be to explore the interior of an asteroid and gain unprecedented knowledge about the nature of one of these near-Earth objects. The fact that we now have the capability to do this ourselves shows how advanced our civilization has become. Working together to protect the planet, asteroids not only complete our picture of the universe, they also bring people together. However terrible the danger, the willingness for international cooperation and collaboration is evident. The most important nations around the world are involved in developing global asteroid defense. The European Space Agency, ESA, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, will contribute probes to upcoming missions, and further cooperation is planned. An important aspect of future research is the development of strategies to defend ourselves against potential asteroid impacts. We need to test impactors to divert an asteroid from its orbit, and we need to develop other methods to be able to defend ourselves against an asteroid through other means in case of emergency. We can only do this together, and every nation contributes something. Some scientists and engineers from different nations are working on drilling technologies and landing probes, while others are contributing software for simulation programs or simply the necessary funds. Long-term monitoring of Apophis will require ongoing effort with powerful telescopes, and here too scientists from different nations are working together around the clock. Apophis will bring us closer to extraterrestrials, Let's move away from the pure threat and get closer to exploration and curiosity. Exploring asteroids like Apophis could provide key information about the origin of life in the universe and thus also for the search for extraterrestrial life. How is this possible? Well, asteroids are often considered time capsules of the early solar system. Samples that have already reached Earth show that they are rich in organic compounds or even contain prebiotic molecules. Venue contains a wide range of amino acids that are the basic building blocks of life. If we found these minerals and amino acids on a planet like Mars, they would be traces of life. But we find these building blocks on asteroids of all places. Then the question arises, how did they get there? When were they formed and how did life come to Earth? Amino acids and organic molecules don't just grow on trees, they must have an origin. And if we get closer to this, it could expand our understanding of how life develops and if similar processes could also take place on other celestial bodies. The study of Apophis, therefore, also offers a unique opportunity to study the conditions under which life can arise. By studying its surface, its geological features, and the effects of radiation and microgravity, scientists can develop models to understand the viability of life in extreme environments. Asteroid research is bringing together scientific disciplines such as astronomy, geology, and biology in an exciting way. Venue did not provide any direct evidence of microbes or anything like that, but it provided practically all the building blocks for life. Who knows what we will find on Apophis if we dig deep enough and have the right waves in place? How was Apophis formed? The magic of asteroids like Apophis is their origin in the early days of the solar system. They are very likely the last remnants of the dust and gas cloud from which our sun and planets formed, and they have likely changed very little since the beginning of the solar system. By studying their composition, 
scientists can obtain information about the conditions and processes that led to the formation of planets and other celestial bodies. Apophis, like all asteroids and comets, is a living window to the past. Most asteroids were attached to planets or had special orbits in the structuring process of our solar system. Thousands of these chunks are attached in the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Many more can be found in the Kuiper belt behind Pluto and farther in the solar system, and countless comets can be found in the Oort cloud, which has barely been investigated so far. Both asteroids and comets are magically drawn towards the Sun from time to time, and then wander through the solar system. Near-Earth asteroids, including Venu and Apophis, constantly orbit the Sun on a path that repeatedly crosses that of our Earth. Therefore, asteroids don't aim at us when they are on a collision course, they simply approach Earth's orbit when they are in their own orbits. Generally, very irregular around the Sun, an impact wouldn't be a hostile attack from space, it would simply be a dumb coincidence. If you love our videos, subscribe to this channel now.